it's a great experience. I think growing up as an athlete, it's always a dream to play professional soccer. So being in that training environment every day with some of these players on the U.S. national team and foreign national teams, and it's just a great learning experience, and I'm just happy to be there. Hey, just talk about playing with someone like Christine Rampone and Kelly O'Hara. They're on the national team. Christine's been playing for a long time, so I'm sure you've been watching her play for a while. Yeah, uh, Christy's been one of my role models for a long time. I mean, I went to the 99 World Cup when they won, and I was just digging up old pictures of when I met them the other day and tried to find a picture of me and her, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool to be able to play with her. I value her opinion so much, and obviously we have a lot to learn from her. Just talk about your road to getting here. Yeah, so um, after Len I graduated Lenape Valley in uh, 2007, went to Rutgers. I had seven years of eligibility there, so while I was still playing, I uh, got my master's, had a bunch of knee surgeries, so uh, that's why it took so long, and then uh, now here I am. So just keep uh, wanting to play, just have a lot of passion for the game, and hopefully I'll uh, get a good chance at the pros one day. Just talk about that. All the surgeries that you went through, most people would said, okay, I'm going to go into coaching. You persevered. What kept your motor going? Um, I think I had a great support group. So the people around me, my family, my friends, uh, the coaching staff at Rutgers, my teammates at Rutgers, you know. So they gave me the option, you know, if you don't have to do this if you don't want to. But I felt I had more to give to the game and I wasn't ready to walk away yet. So just use those people to rely on as positive support and just keep finding a way to get back on the field. What have you learned that's going to help you get back on the field, hopefully on a more permanent basis? Um, I think the process of sitting out and being injured, you see the game through a different light. So you're seeing it on the sidelines, you're seeing it through the coach's eyes. You learn a lot more than you do than by being on the field the whole time. So it's a very valuable experience when you're sitting out. Just talk about Sussex County soccer in general. You had a great career at Rutgers. Danielle, who's the head of communications, had a great career at Sparta. Mm -hmm. Leanne Weibel, one of the volunteers here, is a trailblazer in female sports in, in uh, Sussex County. Just talk about the Sussex County uh, flair down here. Yeah, um, there's a lot. I mean, uh, Jesse is also from Hopakong, so there's a lot of Sussex County roots involved with the uh, Sky Blue organization right now, and it's pretty cool to always reminisce with them and stuff like that. So, And just talk about this, the, the county in general, soccer-wise. It might get overlooked from uh, the bigger areas, but it produces players, players like you and Emily Carollo and Kaylee and Erin Guthrie, yeah. and the list goes on. Yeah, I think there's definitely a lot of talent that's come out of Sussex County, so, you know, just got to keep it, uh, keep going, keep going and see what more we can get. And do you ever get back home at all to check out Lenape Valley? Yeah, I live home right now. So with my parents, who are my roommates, for what seems like going to be forever. <laughs> <laughs>